1864, finished in 1865, and the building has really suffered a, a multitude of problems. Sometime in its past it was sandblasted, that's why we have these deep pockets and pitting that has occurred. And then to try to correct that and keep the moisture out, someone came in and applied this particular car light coating, thinking that it would protect the masonry, and then that very likely was not acceptable from an aesthetic standpoint, and so someone came in and put this tan mustard color paint over the top of that. The problem with all that is, is that historic masonry buildings were originally designed to take up on themselves water from the storms, and then naturally release that water through evaporation. And all that happens through the mortar joints, so the moisture goes into the masonry through capillary action and through uh, gravity, migrates down to the mortar joint. And because that mortar joint is softer and more vapor permeable than the brick, it acts as a wick to pull moisture out of the building. So these coatings completely foul that whole system because they end up being a film forming uh, uh, barrier. So any water that does get beyond the coating is, is trapped inside of it. So our main effort here has been to remove all the coatings and then we will be repairing all of the mortar joints. That process is called repointing. That's the process of removing bad or deteriorated mortar joints and putting new mortar in. All the mortar will be, uh, has been custom analyzed and matched, so it will very closely match uh, the original. And the final step uh, is application of a breathable and penetrating water repellent and also a masonry consolidant that will add more of the natural patina back onto the brick that was taken off from the sandblasting. You won't be able to see that. It won't change the color or the texture. It's just a, a product that will provide more protection to the next one.